Hey guys, have you ever wondered what would happen to somebody that fell off the turnip truck in Slab City, trusted the wrong people? What about someone who went to the range and made a, an idiot of themselves and caused some trouble? What, what would happen to that person? Well, today we have a two for one special. We are interviewing Mitchell, and that happened to him. And we are going to find out what his story is. But we do have a couple little audio problems. So I hope you will stick with us and get to the end of this video. Because if you do, there is a special bonus. Mitchell gives us some advice about Slab City USA. Here is his story. It's Box Truck Curry. I wake up like at three in the morning. I have been like tossed into uh, a very deep dreaming. Well, have I ever found out what the slabs are? <laughs> <laughs> it's like spank your ass and send you <laughs> home. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, and you know, for some reason, it's not over with yet until <laughs> you drive out of the entrance and know that you're gone. Well, you need to get another car now in order to do that. I know. So Mitchell, you know, he went down to the range to party a bit on Saturday night. You know, the Slab City Music Venue, great place on a Saturday night. And, uh, you know, he had a great time. And he got drunk. And he caused problems. And, well, let me tell you what happens to someone at the range when they get a little out of hand. You know, the first time this happened, I helped get him out along with T.P. Tammy and in a van down by the River Mitch. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a close call. They were getting out the ropes to tie him up and haul him out. But we got him out of there. The, the, <laughs> the crazy thing is... The following Saturday, he went back and he did it all again. Getting drunk, causing problems, and the bouncers took care of him that night. Dancing with the bottle over your head and... Yeah, I got yeah. a little crazy when You I fell a couple times? What? Well, yeah, into the speaker, they say. At the range, when you knocked over the speaker, yeah. they, the guy on the microphone said, Well, at least he's wearing his safety, safety orange. orange. Yeah. <laughs> I made an ass out of myself at the range because I let my hair down on both Saturdays, you know? Every once in a while, you just let your hair down. I know, right? Two yeah. weeks in a row, Two though, in a row, you got thrown in a I, ditch. I said for Saturday, I lost my knife through that little drama. Yeah, you know? but your pants fell That's down, so... And my pants fell off. down, they say, and it showed and revealed my secret parts, mm. which is, you oh know... We, we all saw that right little here. tattoo. Yeah. Oh, you've seen the tattoo, so... Well, be cool. you have a friend like me because I was the only one that actually kneeled down to pull up your goddamn pants. <laughs> I just looked away. I didn't know what to do. And she was thinking, oh, this poor gentleman. There was... You didn't have underwear on. So this uh, this bouncer at the range, she, she had her way with you. Yes, I've never met her. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she threw you down pretty good the first time. Wow. Yeah. I did. I had uh, some scabs. To Dude, on your arm was behind your back, all yeah. folded like the police. Was thing. I resisting or something? Hell yeah. <laughs> they were getting the hog tie things. They were going to hog tie him behind your they back. They say they will do that and put you they in ravines. They had the rope already ready. It was, and it put was you already down in, in hog tie form. I wake up like at 3 in the morning. I have been like tossed into uh, a very deep ravine. So, so wait a minute, you, 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 you woke up where? In the depths of hell. In a, in a, in a, in a wash, in a ravine? I was freezing, I was freezing to death at the same time. Whoa. The I think that's what, I think that's what brought me to is the freezing uh, part of it. It just woke me up. You know? Was it the backside of Salvation Mountain? It was the backside of Salvation Mountain way off, uh, you know, long distance. 
So moments. you got you you got bounced out of the range and, uh -huh, and tossed then, into a ravine behind Salvation Mountain. I would have never made it to this destination where I had found myself if someone helped to get there. Yeah, I had to be put there. I had to be driven there actually. Yeah, you know, like that's what happens when they get bounced from the range. You end up in a ravine behind the mountain. So what went through your mind when you woke up, when you first came to, you're, you're in the, the gully behind Salvation Mountain. It's cold. The uh, first thing I thought of was, where's my jacket? Where's my clothes? You know, I had my pants on, thank God. You didn't have your coat? Mm -mm. That's right, guys. Mitchell got tied up and thrown in a ditch behind Salvation Mountain for being a drunken idiot at the range. This shit really happens. I've seen the hog tie ropes myself. They're all ready, made up, ready to go. Back by the stage. Oh boy, not how I'd like to spend the night. But them bouncers in Slab City, well, they know how to bounce somebody. Let me tell you that. And, well, that was not the worst of it for Mitchell. Because he trusted a couple drifters he found and uh well you know it, it did not work out well these guys didn't look that trustworthy to me they had lots of tattoos on their face and their hands one guy had his name freebird on his knuckles the other guy went by ghost they were telling stories about how they hop the rails and roam around and uh well i don't know i don't know let mitchell tell you what happened next so freebird and ghost they when you were passed out drunk they stole your car yeah he brought the keys back to me sunday morning last sunday morning but not but not the car but not the car and i said where is my car his car was 20 miles away stuck in the sand in a wash in brawley that's the city closest to slabs well the closest real size city and uh well you know the cops eventually found it but by the time it was towed out of there and sat in an impound lot for a couple days well the bill was a thousand bucks and mitchell didn't have the money to get this old car out so he lost his car and his home by trusting these drifters with his car keys oh boy was that a mistake but anyway um I've been surviving at the Wolfgang um, pack. Uh, they're a cool group. You know, everybody has their issues and drama and all that little stuff. But this camp is laid back and it's cool. And, and it is a safe haven if you ever come to the slabs and uh, really need desperate help. Just go to uh, Wolf Pack. You know, Wolf Gang Pack. That's what it is. Wolf so, what, pack. what advice do you have for people that are coming to visit the slabs? They might be moving here, or coming for a few weeks. What? Uh, a lot of what do you think they need to know? A tourist place, and it's all cool. Oh no, it's not all cool. Oh my gosh, the outskirts of this place—it's scary. It, I mean, it's scary. Bring your weapons with you. <laughs> you will need them. Yeah. Uh, this is this crazy place, the slabs. I explored it online on YouTube and watched all these clips and come to the conclusion I didn't want no damn part of the fucking slabs. So what do you think about trusting people in the slabs and you know? Yeah, don't trust nobody. If you didn't come in here with them, don't trust them. While you're there, stay alive. <laughs> you know? You have well, survival out here.